Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's August 9th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of August 9, 2024, Opal Fuels Incorporated is currently trading at a value of $3.56 per share. Black Hills Core is currently trading at a value of $57.14 per share. Forum Energy Technologies is up to $15.79 per share. Brookfield Renewable Core is up to $27.66 per share, and Nextera ended the day at $77.46 per share. According to oilprice.com, the demand for renewable energy is expected to soar in the coming years, as the global demand for electricity is expected to double by 2050, compared to the levels we saw in 2020. The CEO of U.S. energy firm Next Era Energy, John Ketchum, recently stated that the demand for renewable energy will likely triple over the next seven years, in line with the growing use of AI. In the second quarter of 2024, Next Era added 3,000 megawatts of renewable and storage projects to its order backlog, 28% of which came from deals to power Google's data centers. In fact, the energy consumption of data centers alone is expected to double by 2026 and continue growing. Another factor for the rise is considered electric vehicles, which accounted for around 2% of the global automobile market in 2022, a figure that is expected to rise to 50% by 2035. And up next, the availability of biogas and renewable natural gas is now so prevalent that Finnish company Gasum is making history, switching exclusively to biogas for its energy needs. From the end of summer 2024, only biogas will be distributed at Gasum's filling stations in Finland, completely removing the option to fill up with natural gas. Almost all of Gasum's filling station customers in Finland Finland have been choosing biogas for a couple of years as the price has been competitive compared to that of natural gas. Now the availability of biogas is so good it is no longer necessary to keep natural gas as a backup. Juho Kura, the vice president of Gasum, said, quote, We have invested in increasing the availability of biogas, and now we can be confident that biogas will continue to be readily available for road transport in the future. Gasum's strategic goal is to briskly increase the supply of renewable gas in the Nordic markets and thus enable low emission transport by land and sea. End quote. And up next, moving to Tennessee and going into the world of wastewater, an assessment was just recently completed on each of the state's 360 so-called drip dispersal technology wastewater treatment systems, which primarily serve rural subdivisions. The report found half to be out of compliance. State inspectors visited each of the state's 360 sites across January and February and found that, quote, approximately one half of the active systems surveyed appeared to be in compliance. Non-compliance issues ranging from minor to notable were observed in the other half of systems surveyed. The results support continued evaluation of this technology and how the technology factors into future wastewater management decisions in Tennessee, end quote. The purpose of initiating the survey was to observe the performance of these systems and report the results in a manner that may inform design engineers, operating entities, local government bodies, and future standard development on the type of system. And up next, Opal Fuels Incorporated, one of the companies we shouted out in the stock update, along with South Jersey Industries, announced this past week that construction has commenced on an RNG production facility with an annual design capacity of nearly 920 
8,000 metric meter BTUs at the Burlington County Resource Recovery Complex Solid Waste Landfill in Florence Township, New Jersey. The project represents the second collaboration between the companies to develop, construct, own, and operate RNG facilities. Jonathan Maurer, co-CEO of Opal Fuels, said, quote, we are proud to work with SJI to develop the Burlington RNG facility, encouraging renewable energy production in New Jersey and supporting the state's transition to a low carbon economy. Burlington is the latest addition to our growing number of RNG projects, a portfolio of assets underpinned by a proven solution to bring value to our landfill partners and fight climate change, both at the source of emissions and in the transportation sector. End quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Next, according to the Fort Worth report, the city could earn up to $5 million per year from the sale of natural gas captured from its southeast landfill, according to estimates from city officials. Republic Services, which operates the southeast landfill, already captures gas in the lining of the landfill and burns it off through a process known as flaring. Brandon Bennett, the city's former code compliance director, said, quote, Flaring is always a temporary stopgap measure until you can capture sufficient quantities to sell it on the market. Certainly, it's a waste of money to flare it off, and the best thing environmentally is to capture and reuse the gas, end quote. A facility to capture and reuse the gas is currently in consideration. In fact, city council members will consider partnering with Arkea during an upcoming meeting. If approved, the service agreement would require Arkea to pay Republic and the city development fees on the condition that the company collects a 30% royalty on gas sales. And up next, Energia Incorporated announced this past week that its subsidiary, Energia Technologies LLC, has entered into a technology supply contract with the city of Riverside, California. The contract is to upgrade anaerobic digestion wastewater infrastructure at the Riverside Water Quality Control Plant with Energia Technology that will produce renewable natural gas from organic waste and sewage sludge. The contract, valued at approximately $13 million Canadian over its term, is intended to support the development of an RNG facility by another Energia subsidiary under an existing long-term lease with the city. Funding by the city is expected to be supported, in part, by grants from the California Department of Resource Recycling and Recovery and the federal incentives under the Inflation Reduction Act. The plant serves a population of over 300,000 people with a 46 million gallon per day state-of-the-art treatment capacity. And speaking of RNG and California, California-based Clean Energy Fuels Corps announced it has completed its latest renewable natural gas production facility at Ashgrove Dairy in Lake Benton, Minnesota. Now producing pipeline quality RNG and injecting it into the interstate natural gas pipeline grid, the facility is projected to supply up to 480,000 gallon equivalent of negative carbon intensity RNG annually, especially when at full capacity, and will provide clean energy stations with clean burning fuel for its commercial transportation fleet customers. Clay Corbis, Senior Vice President at Clean Energy, said, quote, Ash Grove is our fifth renewable natural gas facility to come online in the last nine months. It's always rewarding to see our efforts come to fruition when we begin injecting. With the growth demand for RNG and interest really starting to take off as fleets realize how effective and immediate they can fuel cleanly, the RNG produced at Ash Grove will directly help with reducing carbon emissions across the country. End quote. 
And lastly, a big partnership to end things off with today as the Green Bay Packers announced they will team up with Batteries Plus to launch a new battery recycling initiative to educate and raise awareness about battery recycling among Packers fans. The partnership was announced at Lambeau Field with U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm and others from DOE in attendance to show support for the initiative. The initiative itself is a result of a $7 million grant secured by Batteries Plus from the U.S. DOE aimed at dramatically increasing battery recycling nationwide by removing financial barriers for consumers, enhancing operational efficiencies, and educating communities on responsible battery recycling. Scott Williams, the CEO of Batteries Plus, said, quote, This grant is a pivotal step in our mission to make battery recycling accessible and mainstream. By eliminating recycling fees at our stores and developing advanced recycling workstations, we're removing barriers and making it easier for consumers to do their part in preserving both our natural resources and the strength of our domestic supply chain. We're excited to partner with the Department of Energy and the Green Bay Packers to bring this important message to a wider audience. End quote. And that will do it for your August 9th, 2024 News Roundup brought to you by Recyclist, a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another episode of Recyclist. Thank you.